Yo, what is up guys? This is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 3 and today I'm gonna show you the official Havoc OS 2.0 which is based on Android Pie on the Redmi Note 3. So let me just go into settings, system and about phone and here let me just show you the Android version stuff. As you can see it's running on Android Pie and it has this hallucinating easter egg and on the ROM version as you can see this is the 13th September 2018 official build. I have been using this build at least for 3 to 4 days now and in my opinion this is a great ROM if you wanna use Android Pie on your Redmi Note 3. And as you can see the kernel version is the Lineage OS kernel and this is the build number which is based on the pre-release 2 and the security patch over here is September 5th 2018 of course. And Regarding Vaulty, yes, Vaulty is working super fine, no issues whatsoever, but the Vaulty is only working on SIM number 1, not on SIM number 2. So yeah, on Android Pie, on Redmi Note 3, most ROMs I Pixel Experience and any other ROMs which is based on Android Pie is like working Vaulty on the SIM slot 1, not on the SIM slot 2. So if you don't use your Vaulty SIM on SIM slot 2, you will be fine to flash this ROM. And let me just go back and as you can see we have the colorful settings panel and this is a stock launcher of the Havoc OS and I have to say this is like super smooth no issues whatsoever and if you do this you get this recent apps panel of Android Pie and if you do like from home screen if you go all the way up you will get to the app drawer as you can see and it has this Google Now cards to the left and this tap to hold functionality is there it shows the weather and stuff date and stuff over here and in this room we have a lot of customizations i have to say and the customizations are super usable in day to day usage at least for me all the customizations you need is mostly present over here let me just show you we have this brightness slider option on from the status bar as you can see it's working super fine you just need to like do this to adjust brightness as you can see and double tap to sleep is there and let me just show you the fingerprint scanner speed as you can see the fingerprint scanner is working super fine and it's pretty fast no issues whatsoever as you can see and in terms of camera i have been using gc mod 5 and it's been working fine by the way i have flashed this rom with official micro g apps i'll give the link in the description box below so yeah, make sure you flash micro G apps, otherwise regarding the GC Mod 5 and stuff and WhatsApp camera and some other stuff like face unlock and stuff won't really work. So make sure you flash the official micro G apps. And let me just go into settings now. And by the way, this is the quick toggles panel and nightlight is working fine as you can see. You can add more stuff from here by just one tapping them as you can see it's pretty easy so yeah and inside hotspot let me just show you 5 gigahertz band is there and it's working super fine we have both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz band so no issues whatsoever let's just go back and inside havoc settings we have all the customizations you will need and let me just show you as you can see we have a bunch of customizations over here in separate groups in miscellaneous you have some wake on charge you can just disable it and status bar double tap to sleep brightness control which i have shown you already you can customize the battery stuff and show network traffic option is there but i use the internet speed meter app status bar icons are there and as you can see you can enable headset icons and stuff let's go back quick settings you can customize the quick settings panel, column and row numbers from here as you can see. Inside screen we have smart pixels and enable screen stabilization which does kind of this. In buttons we get the button customization and as you can see we have the screen off power button torch option. Let me just show you as you can see it works even when the screen is off as you can see so yeah pretty good feature and you can customize these hardware buttons 
or if you don't want to use these hardware keys you can just enable the android pi navigation bar as you can see and for that all you have to do is go to buttons and just disable the hardware keys then you can use these buttons and switching between apps like this works super fine so no issues whatsoever in gestures you will get the system gesture and stuff swipe up home gesture so yeah pretty cool stuff let's go back we have the three finger swipe to take a screenshot as you can see inside lock screen we have the double tap to sleep in lock screen and what else we have the lock screen charging info and face auto unlock is there and works super fine i have tested it yes it works super fine side recent we have the clear all button stuff which doesn't work in pi so that's that inside notifications you will have some notification panel customizations you will have option to disable heads up vibrate on connect call is there and some other in call vibration stuff we have the notification led customizations which does work and well and we have a good feature which is the blink flashlight on call like miui if you receive a call it will like if if your phone is somewhere else it will just blink your flashlight so yeah it is a good feature and it does work inside animations we'll get the animations all over the ui you have the animations for quick toggles and stuff all of the animations are present over here even you can change the screen of animation i have set it to crt let's go back and in system you have the cpu info stuff which we don't need ime i don't think it's needed so yeah that's pretty much it for the customizations and in terms of battery life it will give you like four or four and a half hours screen on time depending on your usage so yeah battery life is good enough considering this is a almost three years old device and the battery itself is draining and charging since three year old i mean since three years so yeah the battery life is good enough in my opinion in display settings and as you can see we have the accent color option over here as you can see we have a bunch of accent colors let me just set it and as you can see the accent colors work over here too and if you change the device theme let me just do it to dark and as you can see it changes everything to dark so yeah this is a great thing and widgets and stuff on this launcher works super fine no issues whatsoever and performance is really good i have played pubg the game performance is similar to the unofficial one so yeah the gaming performance is good enough you don't need to worry like it will lag a little bit but the gaming performance is good enough it's totally playable and one thing that i am disappointed about is google pay simply doesn't work without magisk like without flashing magisk on stock this google pay or any other banking apps won't work on this rom so you need to keep that in mind if you want to use these kind of banking apps you gotta install magisk then use magisk hide otherwise there is no way that banking apps will work as of now it may work in future updates but yeah this is a great rom you can definitely flash it in my opinion so let me know in the comments below if you like it or not and yeah that's been it that's pretty much it for today guys thank you so much for watching give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is tito from kerry and signing off and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye bye now